Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to have a brief look at an article that I found that says Ubuntu 2310's new software st app store will demote Debs, parentheses, apparently. So I want to go ahead and have a look at this. And um, this on the surface looks really bad. As of right now, it does not appear that they're doing this. But we'll see what happens down the road. Of course, I have actually done in the past, I've actually talked quite a bit about some of the issues that um, uh, that Ubuntu has been doing. In fact, I did this video back here, Ubuntu, the end of an era, where I really talked about uh, how they were moving away from the core models. They were moving away from... Uh, Basically, the, the way people, the reason people switch to Linux on the privacy front. You have to understand, though, is it in, are they entirely in the wrong direction? Not really, because people use switch to Linux for two general reasons, maybe three general reasons coming up. The first general reason is they're switching to Linux for development purposes. Those people, they do not care about corporatism or not. Uh, they just want stuff to work. They want the latest tools. And since the big companies have the money, they are in complete support of the direction canonical is moving now a large portion of people switch to linux because they are fed up with those companies and they want freedom in their operating system those people tend to hate what ubuntu is doing we're probably going to get a third group of people that are like i am not paying a subscription service for my main desktop at home and so this is really what we're going to start seeing is a little probably a rise in Linux as Microsoft starts doing more things like that. But in this era, in this video here, Ubuntu, the end of an era, I really talk about uh, a lot of the ways that Ubuntu is moving in the wrong direction. And this article came up here on OMG Ubuntu. And so I wanted to have a look at this. And uh, a, what the article says is that, Starting with 2310, there's going to be a new app store based on Flutter rather than the one they have, which is roughly a fork of the GNOME software store. Now, this is already the one on the immutable desktop, and we know that Ubuntu is really moving away from the repository and trying to completely prioritize snaps in everywhere that they go. So it's a snap first app store is what they are trying to suggest. So uh, what they're wanting to do is basically say, we're probably not going to be pushing uh, the dev versions if there's also a snap version. And we have a little bit of very frightening, um, uh, frightening quote down here. It is a non-goal to try to present Debs and Snaps as two options for the same app. Doing that is hard to get right and restricts design choices in other areas. Restricts design choices like I kind of want repositories before snaps you know like those design now not those design choices those are just the the, the ramblings of a madman apparently deb support will land later because resources are always tight finally nothing here stops users from installing applications the old-fashioned way so this sounds really bad we're probably going to see a bunch of articles uh, and a bunch of videos talking about this. And as much as I would love for this to be true so I can make another hate video on Ubuntu, as of right this moment, it appears to not be the case. So uh, because I want to bring truth, not whatever I want, you can actually um, install this new version of the store right by running your command to use your Snap Store from the channel preview. So I went ahead and I did that. Uh, and I installed the brand new Snap Store based on what uh, what the instructions are. And it does actually, this is the new store. It is quite a bit different, but it does not match what the article says. And I'm going to go ahead and walk through. Now, mind you, this is just installing it on 20, this is 2304. And so it's very possible that down the road, if we uh, if they're just rolling this out, they might very well by default remove the Debian repository from the store. Very easy to do because it's right down here in the settings. They could come into this setting here and uncheck all these boxes. These are the boxes that are sourcing your Deb packages. And so if you were to uncheck these boxes, this thing would work and not show you uh, anything but the snap packages. So 
Uh, that's an important thing to keep in mind. So I don't know if they're going to do that. Maybe because we're running 2304 and I installed this new one, maybe it's keeping those repositories. So we'll see when 2310 drops if they actually do remove those. But as of right now, they are not. So let's go ahead and have a look at a few packages. So here's Caden Live, which does have a Debian version and a repository version, and it does have a Snap version. You can see here, when you pull this up, you actually have a button for Snap, in which case we have version 2304, and we have this latest, and we have the latest Edge Candidate, which in this case are both the same version. We also, though, have a Debian option. So I can click this, and so it is pulling up the software from that version. I want to go ahead and double check Audacity, since this is the application that we uh, did the search test for over there. Of course, all of a sudden right now, my keyboard is not working. Um, my mouse is working, but my keyboard is not. There we are. So there seems to be a little bug in the software store. Uh, hopefully they get that fixed. Here's Audacity. And so we have Audacity. And of course, the default version, latest stable, is 3.1.3. We also have a 3.2.4, latest edge, if you want that. And we do also have the Debian version as well. So you actually still have these options, which is going to be a, a 2.4. Not a 3.2.4, but a 2.4. And just kind of the way that uh, the Debian packages are, are mentioned in there. Um, so let's go ahead and look up one more that I like to talk about when we're talking about these things. And that is the simple screen recorder. And the reason I like doing this one is there is a repository version, which you can see right here based on the symbol, is the Debian version. This is actually the official software from the Debian repository. But we also have this completely unofficial by this dude. Sure, this seems legit. Um, but this is the one that's being pushed. I'm actually kind of surprised we don't see the third option. Maybe they finally got rid of it. Um, because, you know, whatever the case was. So as of right now, what we are seeing in the brand new Snap Store here is that it is still delivering us the Debian and the Snap repository images. And you can see this here. I really like the software store, the way it's, uh, the way it, it's very easy to spot what is what. Uh, I do actually like this. Now, it's yet to be seen what's going to happen when... 2310 uh, actually does come out, are they going to uncheck those Debian repositories so that by default, the only thing you will find in here is snaps? That is what the risk and the threat is. Of course, we always have our terminal, so we can always do that. But uh, that is uh, what I have to report on the article for now. So if you see a lot of stories saying that this is going to happen, I completely kind of wanted it to be that way because, of course, I'm just that kind of person, you know? No, not really. Um, but I was interested in this, and I was fully expecting that this is going to be this horrible thing. I like the software store as it is, and as long as they keep it this way to have the ability to easily see what is a snap package and what is a dev package, I'm okay with that. The question is, are they going to remove those dev packages moving forward in the upcoming releases? That is the thing that is yet to be seen. So let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.